Welcome. Infonomy is a Alpapo A16S and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So to get started, find your desired language on the first page. This should be the page that you see once you boot up, or oh, this should be actually. So I just select the green uh, button and then select the desired language from the list. From there you can go to the next page and select your region, select continue. And here you will get some legal information. So obviously, uh, user agreements, so privacy policy, those are the ones that you need to agree to, uh, regardless if you want to or not, assuming you want to use your device. From there, we can go to the next page, which is connecting to Wi-Fi. Now, you don't need to connect to Wi-Fi if you don't want to. Uh, you have the option to skip right up here. But if you choose to skip uh, connecting to Wi-Fi and you also didn't insert a SIM card, uh, then throughout the setup process you will not see a Google login page and additionally date and time will most likely not be set correctly nor automatically. And I'll be skipping this so what I just mentioned should be the result for me. Now here we have some Google services so we have three different ones location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read exactly what these do and if you don't like them you can disable them like this and then let's go to the next page by selecting accept on the bottom and here you get the option to select your preferred navigation style through the system. So we have two different ones. We have the buttons which are the typical ones that you most likely have already used previously uh, on any other older device uh, but you also have the option for gestures which is uh, more common nowadays which is what I'll be selecting right here. From there I can go to the next page and this allows me to set up some kind of protection to my device. It gives me three different options, fingerprint, face recognition, and password, which includes pin pattern or password, one of those three. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you're planning to use fingerprint uh, or face recognition, maybe both, you will always be also required to set up a physical password like pin pattern or password. Now, the reason for that is uh, if something would happen to uh, either one, your fingerprint or your face or both, you would lose access to the device and that would leave you with still the option to unlock it using pattern or password or pin. Now, um, obviously uh, these two methods also aren't like completely uh, foolproof so sometimes they have marginal error. So as an example your fingerprint might not always uh, work correctly or the phone might not always recognize your face. So that leaves you again with this option. Now I'm going to select just a pattern right here. So that's what I'm going to choose password. And here I can select between the three different ones. So numeric meaning pin, pattern or password. From there I can draw my pattern, repeat it once more. And there we go. It's now set. We have some recommended things like auto update overnight. You can enable this if you want to. If you don't care, you can just go to the next page. And this looks like it finishes up the setup. So let's select get started. And this should take us to the home screen. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.